Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and continued on through the waterfall, did a bunch of fun stuff, and you know, we hung out with Nabstablooki and we called Papyrus a bunch, and in this episode, we're going to continue on. We interact with these mushrooms, they light the way for us. So we're just going to keep doing that, walking through, lighting the mushrooms, and there's going to be a secret around here somewhere. I forget exactly where. Oh, oh this is Special Enemy Temmy. So for Temmy, you just want to talk to her. You say hello to Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Temmy is trying to glomp you. You won. And so, with that Temmy, if you go down here... Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village! Hoi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend, Temmy! Hoi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend, Temmy! Hoi! I'm Temmy! Don't forget my friend! Hi. I'm Bob. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Hoi! You should check out Tem Shop. I'm not sure what voice to do for the Temmies. I know it's just gotta be loud and slightly obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You should check out Tem Shop. Wow, 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 wow. Humans, such a cute. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. It's hard boiled. Statue of Tem, very famous, very. Feeling of being watched. P Tem heard human allergics to Tem. That okay, Tem understand? Tem also allergic to Tem. Hives! <laughs> Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my hyphae. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas to no avail. Oi! Welcome to the Tem Shop! So we have Tem Flake, Tem Flake on sale, Tem Flake expensive, and Tem Pay for Colleague. Say hello. Hoi! I'm Temmy. About yourself. Oh god, this is not good for my voice. Temmy history. Us Tem have deep history. About shop. Yeah, yeah, go to Tem shop. Let's get out of here as soon as we can. You can actually pay for Temmy's college fund, and then she'll come back and sell you Temmy armor, which uh, is super expensive. Uh, but if you die a couple of times, then it gets less expensive. And so, you can get that, and I forget how useful it is, but... Yeah, let's just move on before I have to do any more of that voice. Alright, we have Mold... You walk into Mold Small. So let's go ahead and spare this first Mold Small, but the second Mold Small, small won't, won't be sparable. Let's go ahead and uh, check. Mold small, attack six, defense zero. It's a slime mold. Let's go ahead and uh, flirt. You wiggle your hips. Suddenly, this thing, this is mold big instead of mold small. Mold big mills about in the corner. We want to go ahead and unhug it. You don't hug mold big. It appreciates, appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Chast Wiggle. So I guess that's why the uh, Mold Small were around, because they wanted to set up the surprise of Mold Big. Just gotta make our way through here, and... 
All right, we have this lantern here, which will go ahead and light the way for us whenever we press it. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. <laughs> All right, we have Washua and Aaron again. Now, I think with Aaron, now we can just do this. Tell Aaron to go away. He agrees. Okay, so now that we did that thing with Nabs to Blue in the last episode, we can go ahead and just shoo him and he'll go away because he promised that he'd stop being creepy. Green means clean. And we can spare him. Now, is there something over here or is this just to... I guess that's just to lead us in the wrong way. Also, that path is in a very unfortunate shape. Right here. And that should be the end of it? Yeah, okay. Behind you. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human. This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. Or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'm I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it! Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? So yeah, now that he's dealt with, there's this grass over here, which is just meant for that reveal when Monster Kid is there. You're a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under, standing under the sky looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo. Say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. 
I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Yo, w wait, help, I tripped. Yo, dude, if if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. So yeah, that's a nice moment to show that, you know, I don't really know how to phrase it. Before we move on, I keep forgetting to call Papyrus. So I will be right back. Okay. Lanterns? Um, okay. Can you eat them? I'm seriously out of ideas here. I'd try eating them. There's no response. Okay. So I didn't miss too much. Anything in here? No response. So yeah, I only missed a couple lines of dialogue, which is following up on a funny bit, but... No response. Okay. Without further ado, let's continue. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, it is as is customary for those who make it this far. I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Nyah! You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool, with their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you, you're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. Let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting for their whole, their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this. Right here. Right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> so there's no getting out of this one. It's time for the battle with Undyne. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. Unguard. Undyne attacks. Attack 50, defense 20, the, her the heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape, unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. So this boss fight can be pretty tough. It, it looks pretty easy right now because you just have to guard against those. Undyne her points heroically towards the sky. Told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad, then how about this? So I think Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fist. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. 
And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Undyne bounces impatiently. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Yeah, enough warming up. Now our only option is just to run away. Just keep running and hey, there's some of that ice from Snowden. You won't get away from me this time. Sorry if I'm not the best at doing a voice for Undyne. I didn't really have an idea going in, into this. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Smells like sushi. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Killing you now is an act of mercy. So stop being so damn resilient. Undyne has a great boss theme as well. We've got a sign up there, welcome, and we didn't get to see the rest of it. You've escaped from me for the last time. Alfie's told me the humans were determined. I see now what she meant by that. So yeah, now they introduce reverse spears where it points in the direction that it's going to attack you from, but it's coming from the opposite direction. But I'm determined too. Determined to end this right now. Right now. Ah. Uh -huh. Right now. Okay, can we... Yeah, die already, you little brat. Okay, this is where the attacks get really hard. Welcome to Hotland. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. And we gotta keep running. Stop running away! Can we just... Okay, yeah. Just keep on running. We have Sans up there. She pauses to look at Sans. Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. She looks dry. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. You take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water. And hey, she leaves us alone for a little bit. Also, I think, yeah, Sans is gone now. But with that, we have completed the Undyne boss fight. No, hey you. 
Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from the waterfall to get a drink. But it's the wa- Alrighty. So, I, I know I already said alrighty, but now that we've defeated Undyne, quote-unquote defeated, we're going to end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and maybe take Papyrus up on that offer about hanging out with Undyne. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.